Pregnancy and childbirth are common experiences for most women throughout their lives, and there's no doubt that each woman has a unique experience when it comes to pregnancy. When these two sisters found out they were expecting, they knew they were in for a unique experience, and they were both excited and nervous about the idea. However, they couldn't wait to hold their babies in their arms. When the day came, however, they were in for a pleasant surprise. This is what transpired. We'll find out the entire story of the sisters and their journey at the end of the video, but first, like and share it with others, and make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications bell turned on. Lauren and Lily are two beautiful sisters who are 20 and 17 years old. The girls live in the English county of Merseyside. They have a special bond because they grow up together as children. Lauren and Lily, on the other hand, got to share an experience that only a few sisters get to have. They were both expecting at the same time, with the older of the two being the mother. Lauren was the one who informed her parents of her pregnancy first. Philip, her father, recalls the event vividly. Lauren was crying on the couch when she told him. Things like this happen. However, while he'd been supportive of Lauren, Lily, who was much younger, tried for a few months to keep it a secret, but he sensed something was wrong. The sisters were scheduled to be induced a few weeks later. Lauren was stimulated and went into labor 12 days apart on March 23rd while her father was at the hospital, although he left her with his mother, Karen, and sister Lily before returning home. Everything appeared to be in order, so Philip figured he'd better get home, so he hopped on his bike and rode back. Even though he had no idea that he was in for a big surprise when he returned home, Lily had gone to visit her friends after spending time at the hospital with her sister, and she arrived in a taxi and went up to the bathroom where her water broke. They were going to induce labor, so it was a genuine surprise. They had to ask a neighbor to take her to the hospital the following Friday because his car had been proclaimed out of delivery. It had been a wild night, and Lily's baby was evidently so eager to meet his cousin that he decided to arrive early. Karen, who was already in the hospital with Lauren, was split between her two daughters after Lily was rushed to the hospital, while Father Philip and his son were to wait at home because the women's hospital doesn't let many people into the maternity. They went upstairs and waited for the mother to call. Lauren was in the birthing pool, but she didn't seem to be in any discomfort, so we went over to Lily and took her hand. Lily was the first to hold her baby, Eden, in her arms in 1219 while Lauren gave birth to Sophia in 1731. However, Lauren and Lily were supposed to stay at the family home until they could get settled, which meant Philip had to sleep on the sofa. He stated that he was waiting until he could finally get his bed back and he'd been snoozing on the couch, but it didn't bother him at all and he was having a good time with it. Lauren will be moving into her own apartment soon and he'll be staying with her for a while to assist her through the process. Actually, he was overjoyed, truly am. For a long time, he'd been looking forward to becoming a grandfather, grinning like a big Cheshire cat. Sisters of the Four Haley Andrews, Katie Dangerous, Amy Gossett, and Carolyn Toss are four sisters who know how special it is to share a pregnancy with each other. All the Gaines sisters are the daughters of Beth and Tom Gaines, who had a total of six children and were known as the Gaines Girls. The four sisters have always had a close relationship, and two of them are identical twins. They were also born within three years of each other. The girls were very close as children and did everything together, and they've remained so for the past three decades. The experience they shared in 2021, on the other hand, was absolutely exceptional. They commemorated yet another common breakthrough, becoming mothers. Katie started the trend, and then everyone else followed, according to Haley. 33 said that all competitive, but they also wanted to share this experience with each other. So, when Katie got pregnant, they started to ask themselves a serious question. Should they all jump on the bandwagon? The answer appears to be yes. Of course, the girls weren't the only ones who had to make a decision. Their husbands would have to agree as well. And fortunately, the men didn't require much persuasion. Their wonderful plan is about to get underway. The sisters supported each other through the pregnancy, and because Haley and Katie had never been pregnant before, they tried to assist them as much as possible. Carolyn explained that they had a sister thread where they talk every day, plus phone calls. Is this something you're experiencing? Does she have a lot of kicks? What signs and symptoms does she have? It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for her and her sisters and best friends. It's indeed fantastic. The news delighted the gang's grandparents, who couldn't wait to meet their new grandchildren. They shopped for everything a toddler could want in the months leading up to the baby's arrival, from a big swing to toys and cots. 
The Gain sister wanted to see their children grow up as close as they are. When she asked about their family, she said that they were a pretty traditional family who spent Christmas, Thanksgiving, and every birthday with each other. Despite their closeness, the sisters could never have imagined that they would one day give birth to children just months apart. Katie's boy was born on April 2nd, while Amy's due date was June 11th. Haley's due date was set for July 5th, and Caroline was expected to give birth around July 25th. The girl's Instagram account has more than 10 followers, Alas, no more information has been provided, so they can only hope that everything is fine with them. Sisters who work as labor nurses stay together, but can the same be said for co-workers? It appears the answer is yes. These nine women are from Maine, in the United States of America. They all worked as midwives at Maine Medical Center, the same hospital. You might think anything unusual is going on until you see this photo. How's this for a baby boom, says the caption. Eight of our nurses, out of a total of nine, were expecting babies between April and July. The expecting mothers proudly display their bellies in the photo, one of which is already a little larger than the other. They're smiling and dressed in their hospital uniform of gray slacks and a gray t-shirt. They have colored paper signs with their due dates affixed to them. Despite the fact that the new moms were already friends, the experience of being pregnant together solidified their bond. Even if it's at 3 a.m., they communicate every day. Lonnie asserts, Sophie, one of the nine mothers, then started the hospital's unprecedented baby boom. Despite the fact that the hospital's delivery wing had seen a lot of births, all the babies born by its staff were truly unique. The babies began to arrive in April and the trend continued until July, when the last baby arrived. Mother Lonnie stated that the team intends to have many playdates with their children and that they hired a professional photographer to capture this special moment. The babies in these photos are between the ages of three weeks and three and a half months. One photo depicts the nine children in a circle wearing white onesies, while another depicts all the mothers holding their babies. It was obviously a joyous occasion. This type of baby boom is uncommon, but it doesn't happen spontaneously. Pregnancies can be transmittable, according to research, because your social network can influence your decision to have a child. And based on the stories we cover in this video, that appears to be the case. What are your thoughts? Is it possible that getting pregnant is contagious? Or do you believe it's a personal decision? Let us know what you think in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts and hope you enjoyed these unusual stories, and we'll see you in the next video. Also, make sure your browser's notification bell is turned on. Hopefully, you'll keep it in mind at all times.